Hey, hello, I'm Ragnar Heilo. Welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to dive a little bit deeper into my current setting of my video live streaming studio, of my daily work in video meetings and so on and calls. And um, I will let you know that I'm currently using here on my home office desk a Sony Alpha 6400 camera, which you're currently seeing. Then, second, I'm using here the Shure SM7B microphone, which you are currently hearing. And then also I need to drive the microphone. I'm having a Scarlett Focusrite as an audio interface. The Sony is connected through an ATEM mini video mixer. So it's a pretty sophisticated setting and it's also not very easy to carry it around. So usually this is fixed mounted here on my, on my desk, as you can see. Very nice, but I'm literally not carrying around the Shure SM7B. But when I'm finally able to travel again after the COVID-19 lockdown, I would like to increase also the quality of my mobile live streaming and mobile video conferencing um, solutions. And I'm not going to use the inbuilt uh, webcam of my laptop, you know, that's for sure. So the $1 million question is how can I improve the quality of my videos when I'm traveling? And uh, two days ago, I had the idea of purchasing the brand new GoPro Hero 9 Black, which you can just see in one second. That's the beautiful one I already own as GoPro 7. I was very happy with the 7, but the 9 has got a lot of new features, which I'm not covering here in this video. But, but the issue is currently if I would like to connect my existing very portable microphones like the Rode video mic, which you can see here. Then I have everything to connect, like a USB cable. It could connect here to the GoPro, but it doesn't work. GoPro doesn't support it by default. So how can I solve it? Yes, there is a solution called GoPro Official Media Mod, which is a case, and then I would be able to insert my external microphones. This case is currently completely out of stock, so I tried to buy it and it's not available globally. And um, yeah, so it's pretty complicated. Uh, if I want to use the GoPro to make, to use it in, um, as a webcam, it's also not possible because then the microphone, which is inbuilt, which is actually not too bad, is not supported. And after purchasing the GoPro Hero 9, I was very curious to see how it's going to work as a webcam. And that's, that's the reason why I've just published here a blog post, which you can read around how to install the drivers for this webcam, how to install the utility tool for the webcam. And uh, this is available for Windows and Mac currently. So please check ragnar.blog and you'll find everything around the installation configuration, best settings here if you want to use it for OBS or just as a simple webcam for your Zoom, Teams, WebEx meetings and so on. So th that's covered here in my blog post. I'm not going uh, deeper here, but the thing is, if you want to use the GoPro Hero 9 as a webcam, then the internal microphone is not working. It's not supported. The external ones are currently not working as well because I need to, to buy the uh, media mod and also the adapter is currently not working. So I've got issues on three different sides. External adapter not working, media mod out of stock and the external one is not working as a webcam. So what to do in case you want to use the GoPro as a webcam. And that's the reason here why I will show you my solution for the moment. That's a very nice way as a workaround. Uh, this uh, USB microphone called Tonor TC777 is available for around uh, 30, 35 euros, a dollar, more or less the same. And this is completely driven by USB. So you literally don't need anything more than just a um, PC or Mac or Linux. And this is going to support you with your GoPro uh, live streaming and um, web conferences because this is going to be attached to your um, machine and the Tenor TC77 
is a solution, is a microphone which comes together with a pop filter. It's also coming directly with a tripod, fully built of metal. You can nice rubber feet to have a nice stand. This is here a mountain shock, which is helpful, you know, to prevent any kind of, of noise which is coming while the while it's standing. And yeah, so here another wind, a dead cat thing in case you want to use it in a windy environment. So what I will recommend for now is that we just yeah, hear how the microphone is going to sound and then using it directly with the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Okay, now I've switched the GoPro Hero 9 Black using uh, USB and this is now a webcam view which can be changed in the tool. It's called the linear mode. And uh, let's look a little bit deeper into the other modes to play around here with the webcam utility of GoPro. That's the linear mode. And now we're going into the narrow mode, which you can see in a second. So that's the narrow mode. And last but not least, the last thing what I would like to show you is the wide mode. And that's a bit of a fish eye view here of my office. And the most important thing here is to let you hear how the microphone or the Tonor TC77 sounds like. So this would be the position which sounds maybe the best. It's like 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 two fists away from the microphone. And now I'm moving directly going with my voice to the microphone very close and now I'm directly at the microphone and I'm touching the pop filter with my lips. Please bring pizza prianto. Prianto. Pronto is it? <laughs> prianto. That was Freudian. Um, yeah, so please tell me in the comments how you like the sound. I'm currently talking directly here to it. No, walking a little bit around and talking here on the side, left side, and then also on the right side. And here on the bottom of the microphone, now I'm talking here on the top of the microphone. And I'm pretty impressed here what you can get for the price. So as I mentioned, 35 um, euros, dollars. I also saw offerings around 28 and you get really the tripod included, the mountain shock you get here, the windshield, the, you get the pot filter, everything is there. Also, obviously the USB cable. So, uh, what to complain? Let me just switch back to my other view to see myself a little bit closer and the microphone as well. You need to decide if you want to have a very fancy microphone, you know, like the Shure SM7B, but this def is definitely difficult to carry around. So this microphone here will be a driver when traveling. It's, it, it fits in every kind of computer bag. And uh, it's also very light. So you, you can't compare it from the, from the quality with the Shure SM7B. This is your plastic and the Shure here, which I can show you here, is is a very is yeah full of metal, so it's a different price range. But not sure if you are doing gaming or video live streaming, or just you want to use it for webcam for your uh, calls and meetings, or you want to do voiceovers, or you want to do YouTube and so on. Um, please let me know what's your favorite use case. But for this price, I'm very honest with you, I didn't find a better microphone. So thirty. Something 35 is an excellent price and it fits well here to the GoPro and it helps to compensate that the GoPro currently has some issues with the microphone. The internal cannot be used for web calls, conferences. The externals, there is the media mod missing. So yeah, some issues and this can compensate it. Let me know if you have some more questions here in the, in the comments. I'm trying to do some other tests, you know, like typing. Let me know. I'm currently doing typing close to the microphone. I'm going now a little bit more away. And now I'm coming closer 
one two one two one two one two one two happy to answer all your questions in the comment section here but for now this would be a very nice budget recommendation to compensate the missing things on the GoPro and of course if you don't have GoPro you can use it with every kind of, of other webcam to improve the quality of your videos and daily calls. Thanks for listening. Hope you want to subscribe also to my channel. Thanks so much and please don't forget a like.